Hey friends and crafters, welcome to the DM's Craft. Uh, today I'm going to show you some more LARP stuff that I did. A while back I was in a LARP for a friend, they were running for their uh, son, and you can watch uh, DM's Craft number 134 and I explain that in more detail. But uh, I've had people ask me about more pieces and I thought it would be fun to kind of show uh, some other ones I did. I did this goblin shield and uh, from one of my goblin minions in the LARP. So uh, let's hit the table and I'll show you how I easily and cheaply made this shield. Uh, now you can make, it, this wouldn't have to be for a LARP, you can make this for your kids or whatever just to have fun, uh, imagine to play and that kind of thing. So uh, let's hit the table and we'll make that super easy shield. I want to give a special shout out to Larry Zarakon Sodders for supporting the craft. Uh, he's always been a friend and supporter of the craft and he is supporting me uh, at the friend level on my Patreon and I want to thank you so much Larry. This is dedicated to you man. So the story goes that I needed a uh, sh medium shield for a minion of mine that was protecting me as I was the Dark Lord in the LARP. Uh, now. So what I did was I used some double corrugated cardboard and I used a trash can lid and measured out uh, this round shape for the shield. Okay, uh, then I cut to the center of the shape of the circle and then pulled uh, it over like a flap onto the other part of the shield and got that convex shape that I wanted for the shield. You can kind of adjust it by just how far you pull it over the other piece of cardboard. And then I just used my large hot glue gun to glue that together, really strong bond. Uh, sealed it uh, um, on the back and the front also uh, at the crevice where the two uh, meet. Now then I took uh, two pieces of uh, double corrugated and I put them over uh, the shield as kind of a as kind of banding and you can see here the bottom part I've taken it and glued it hot glued it on and then bent it over the ends bent over to the back of the shield and uh, the, the one at the top, I haven't done that yet. So basically, I just glued that on with the hot glue, then bent uh, the ends of the banding over to the back side of the shield. And that'll give a little bit of extra reinforcement there, too, um, as well as hide that uh, edging. Now, uh, what I did with the back was I used those two strips to the, to the left to make uh, handles for the inside of the shield so my uh, minion could hold on to the shield. And I uh, hot glued those in with an extra strip over the piece of... Uh, cardboard over the end of the strip so it would give it extra reinforcement because you know these, these things are going to take a pounding so you want to give uh, plenty of strength and reinforcement to these. Now this next frame here uh, I've got I've started painting the shield and this really couldn't be easier. Uh, what I did was I just sprayed the bands um, with a metallic spray paint and then I painted the whole rest of the shield with a burnt umber acrylic craft paint and then I used a wide brush and pulled a lighter brown across the shield to give that really kind of easy uh, wooden effect of like wooden planks that the shield's made out of. So that was just super easy to do. Now I added some rust and that kind of thing to the, uh, to the banding to give it some uh, just a neat look, right? Now this next frame here, uh, I've started painting a symbol because uh, the person running the LARP was using this symbol in the game and wanted it to show up. And so I'm basically painting that symbol on uh, the shield here. Now I painted it white. It's not very impressive right now, but I painted it white. Um, and uh, you'll see the reason I did that in a second because I'm going to add some more detail to it. But let's talk about the banding. So the banding, I added a few uh, paper fasteners uh, to the top and the bottom. And that's more just for look than for actually function. But I think it looks cool because it looks like the banding has been riveted to the shield. And that's just easy enough to do. You just poke a hole in it, put the uh, paper fastener through, and just bend it over. And then hot glue those, those pieces that are sticking through that are bent over so they don't jab the, the wielder or the shield or anything, right? So now that I've got the, that's all dry, I'm going to finish up the symbol, okay? And here's the symbol all finished, all right? Uh, the symbol was supposed to be red, so I used the white because red is a very thin color and it won't show up very well in a dark background like this shield. So I painted it white first and then painted the red over it, so now it's a very bright red, really nice. So I just painted the, the, uh, the regular red over the white, then outlined it with a black acrylic. 
And then the banding, I just kind of uh, used the black to outline the banding, and that gave it like a nice shadow effect. Uh, also, I did a few streaks of uh, the acrylic over the banding, so it looks like it's been nicked and, and that kind of thing uh, with swords and, that, and other weapons hitting it. So there we go. There's our easy shield. It's actually very strong. Uh, you know, it, even though it's just cardboard, it's very strong. So let's go to the woods, and you can see the uh, goblin in action wielding this shield. The group will cheer on Emberlin. Emberlin! 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 Alexander will not cheer due to this. Alexander will not cheer on doing to feeling sorry for the goblin. He does not want to see anyone hurt. He thinks Gosh. Attack three. Oh. Attack one, attack two, attack three. Attack one, attack two, attack three. Attack one, attack two, attack three. No one needs to die, yeah. Attack one, attack two, attack three. Make sure her blood sister does not get defeated. Attack two, attack three. Emmy one, Emmy two, Emmy three. No. What is no one missing? Attack two, attack three. Emmy one, Emmy two, Emmy three. Oh. Hold. Just when everyone thought Gosh would be was to be defeated, an electrical flash of energy broke open the sky, temporarily blinding everyone for a count of six. Turn and close your eyes. One. Count one. Two. Count two. Four. Count three. Four. Count count six. six. Gosh has vanished. Oh no. Oh, oh, no! You see and hear nothing. The adventurers are confused. The forest is quiet. Lay on. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give your DM Scotty a like. Uh, there I go, talking about myself in third person again. Uh, also, uh, join my Facebook community. A bunch of great people, wonderful ideas on there. And if you did enjoy the vid, why not drop a little change in the tip jar? Uh, Scotty can get a coffee and uh, energize himself for his next video. Also, if you would like to support the DM's craft longer term, you can join Patreon. And I produce a video magazine every month for my uh, Patreon supporters uh, called The Crafter's Lair, chock full of information, crafts, and other uh, tips from DM Scotty. And I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm sorry, he did. Yes, that was an honorable no. Where's the stone? He died fighting off 50 goblins and killed half of them. <laughs> we don't so know. I'd say more two thirds, but. Very Where's the stone? Very I have the stone. But we have. <laughs> We have this stone. mystical we stone. Have, have Stop a... looking in my pockets. I'm looking for the stone. I have the stone in my hand. You have it? <laughs>